the Bloxy theme as custom fields integration. Today's video, I show you step by step how to use with Advanced Custom Fields plugin, turning a website into a fully fledged content management system. Later on, I show you how to integrate the content block hooks from the Bloxy theme with the Cadence theme dynamic feature so you get dynamic content. Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Natalie. Before we get started, please support the channel by giving a big thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. It's free and it means a lot to me. I have imported this beautiful Bloxy starter template. This is a recipe web design. This layout is available for Gutenberg, meaning we will be using WordPress blocks so you can customize without relying on any third party page builder. Created custom fields data is a great way to customize your content. By adding extra pieces of information, you add content fields to your WordPress edit screens. I have already three custom fields. I have assigned them to show up to show off on the WordPress editor screen. We determine the location of these fields inside the ACF plugin rules. We have a location type, a comparison operator, and a value in order to be registered as a custom location type. In the first field, you determine where this field group is assigned. You can define it in a post, page, user, etc. The comparison value is this middle field, equal or not equal. Think of it as a yes or a no. And the last field is equal. Equal to what? Post, a page, a content block, or a custom icon. You can add these pieces of information with another plugin, such as Toolset, Metabox, and others. You decide. Custom fields integration is part of the Bloxy theme premium. I'm assuming you have already activated the premium package as well as the post type extra pro extension allowing us to add custom data. The next step, the next step is to show you my ACF fields on the WordPress editor screen. So, I open up a random blog post and I fill in all my ACF fields over to Appearance and Customize. From the left hand side, click on the, on the post type section. Here we easily find the five design layouts to choose from. The card options provides the available items. Each model is fully customizable. We can enable or disable each of them. As we can see, you find an ACF fields entry from the list. Fields. Currently is disabled, I activate it by clicking in this little high symbol. Click on the down icon to expand the options. I have my three AC of custom fields. I want to bring in the first one, so I select and I also activate the label field. These three fields after, before and fallback are static elements we can add before or after the dynamic content value. The fallback option is used in case the element has no content or does not exist. For this example, I insert the following in the before field. Is it gluten free? Now I pull in in my second and third ACF fields. The easiest way to do so is to click on the clone icon to duplicate the item. Click on the down arrow to expand the options. I change the ACF field. I delete the previous before field. I insert the grams. I clone once more. I select my third ACF field. In the before field, I had total fat. Here they are. Cool. Great. Another great feature is the ability to reorder the items by position than anywhere you want inside the card elements list. All you have to do is to drag up as I'm doing to control the positions of the ACF fields. There you go. Alternatively, you can also have them as post metadata. Expand them and I activate the ACF custom data. This time, they, they will be placed below the feature image. I insert my three ACL fields in it. By cloning the first one and the second one just as I did it before. Amazingly, we can have icons as item styles. So I have three different icons and I position them wherever I need to. You can also stylize the dynamic data by clicking on the design tab and change the meta, font colors, etc. 
There's also a post filtering option. Scroll down to find the post filter. Activate. You can add this useful feature by using categories or tags to customize as you wish. This is a great team. Moving on to personalize our single post template with the Bloxy theme premium. Filling in the ACF fields inside the blog post as usual so that you can inside the customizer pull in these meta fields. This is a single post template loop from the Intuitive Advanced Customizer. Click now on the single posts. In the page elements items there is another great feature that is to enable the read progress. I enable this and I also change to white color. Going to the design tab so you can check it through the page we notice a custom progress bar at the top of the screen. To pull in the ACF data into this single post template click on the post title at the top. This enables you to customize the post title area. Think of this area as your hero area. Expand them. Under the page elements list you find easily the ACF fields entry. Click on the high symbol to activate. Expand the options. I select my custom data, also the label. In the before static box I input a question. Then I duplicate it by clicking on the clone icon. Expand. Selected the second ACF field to be pulled into this single post template loop. I duplicate it once more to fetch my last one. On the canvas you are viewing the ACF fields on your right. You can also stylize the meta fields data by going to the design tab and change it. This is a very straightforward process. Looking good. Additionally, you can drag them up and position them wherever you want. There's also the ability to add a background image to this section. Let me show you what I mean. Click on the container background image. Custom option. Click on select image to add a custom one. Then I upload from my WordPress library. Let's tweak some font colors. Go to the design tab and I change the three ACF fields to white color. There it is, the final result. Now let's use another powerful Bloxy theme feature that is the content block feature which is very similar to Cadence Hooks elements in case you are familiar with the Cadence theme. I have a full Cadence playlist here in my channel where you can learn a lot on how to use the great features. I will leave the link so you can check it out. Now what I want to do is to add a custom section inside the single post template. To do that I'm going to use the content blocks of the Bloxy Premium. It works with most page builders. We will be using Gutenberg to insert without the need to know any kind of coding. One simple trick is to show. I want to show you is the Blocky theme location. So first things first, select the page or post you intend to use the content block hook. Second, select from the top of your screen the show or hooks option, and then choose your desired location. It's a simple, straightforward process. So from your WordPress dashboard, click on Blocky. Navigation menu, tab, content blocks and head new. There are five types of content blocks to create your custom loop. Standard, pop-up, 404 template, header and footer template. You can insert any kind of Gutenberg blocks content. I select the standard one and give it a name. From your top toolbar, the blocks the icon to in order to set it up inside the WordPress Gutenberg. From top to bottom, you, you set up the container structure. This let you, lets the content block follow the rules that you have set for normal pages or posts in the customizer. I don't want to use it, so it remains disabled. Under the location and priority, this lets you choose where you want the content block to appear on the page. I set my priority to four number and the location I set to top content. In the display conditions I want on the single post page to user login users. The expiration time and date lets you automatically disable a content block after a specified time. Under the visibility tab I set mine to be visible only on desktops. 
I want to pull in the same ACF fields dynamically. I use the Cadence Team Blocks Pro. Because it has a dynamic content feature and the Bloxy team does not have yet this feature. I have already installed and activated the Cadence Blocks Pro. First click on the gear icon at the top of your screen. Next step I had a Cadence column row. From the WordPress top list view at the top of your screen, I select the section block as I want to add a background color. From the right hand side under the background settings section, I have an orange color and a 10 pixels border radius. I click now on the second column to add the H6 heading and I enter nutrition fat. I duplicate the same heading element and I change the text into nutrition calories. Okay. I select the third column, I have an icon list block. To pull in the custom meta, click inside the icon list to open up the dynamic content icon. It opens up the, this pane. The first box, select post custom field. Once we determine the ACF fields to be associated with the posts. The content source, it stays as it is once this is a blocksy content block. Under the custom field, select the ACF field you want to add dynamically. For me, I select the gluten free field. Scroll down till you find the insert the dynamic content button. Click it to assume. If you see a text message saying no content, proceed as it will work on the front end view. I had two more icons list to fetch my two remaining fields. Under the custom field, I select the ACF field you want to add dynamically. To me, it's fine as it is it's perfect once you've published and now we are going to check on the front end this is a simple example showing you how you can use the cadence dynamic feature alongside the bloxy content blocks to bring in dynamic data we could improve the colors by going once more to the bloxy content blocks hooks and from there i tweak the font colors to white and that's it Thank you so much for watching, if you like, please give me a big thumbs up or leave a comment below. See you next time, bye bye!